Finally this evening on Assignment America, what is the biggest day in a young woman's life? Probably wedding day. Something old, something new. Well, our story is something else. A look at the largest wedding dress store in the country. You don't have to imagine what happens there. Bill Schechner is going to show us. On the street, the snow and the coats say winter. But in here, it's June. Do you love it? Beautiful. And I think you need a, another crinoline to puff it out. This is Kleinfelds of Brooklyn, America's busiest wedding dress store, arguably the busiest in the world. It's all they do. Each year, 10,000 brides, and then some. I have the veil, I know the ring, I know the dress. I just I have to find it. a man. From overseas, from all across the country, they come here. A Mecca. This is where you have to come. <laughs> I've heard about it for years, and here I am. That's from Paris. Presiding over it all, Hedda Kleinfeld. Her father started the business 40 years ago. What is this? What kind of fabric? Pure silk taffeta. Why do you think, Hedda, that people are willing to spend so much money on a dress that they're going to wear for one day? I think it's become, again, the most important day in their lives. And they feel the better they do this day, the better their life will be. Otherwise, why would they put so much time and effort and emotion no one in here is agonizing more than Mary Walter. 28, a computer consultant, she's paid to make choices. She's having trouble with this one. Your decision. You'll look beautiful in either one of them. You know I told that. you what I think. Make... It's taken me eight months, three states, and I believe over 50 dresses. And I'm still deciding. <laughs> I don't like the bows at the side. Meanwhile, in a nearby dressing room, the Michael Friedman is shopping with his daughter Carla. But Michael Friedman is more than the father of the bride. I'm an anthropologist, and this is a wonderful place to do anthropology. It's a, it's a whole uh, uh, community with its own customs and tribal rights. And this seems to be particularly an area that is governed by women. Uh, you see also that there are the mavens of Kleinfeld who go around giving correct opinions. Simplicity is the keynote to smartness, and what are talking about? It's gorgeous. Florence Mamora, who is 77, has been selling wedding dresses for 35 years. There is a dress for every individual bride, absolutely, without a doubt. But some of them may not know how to find it. That's correct. We and gotta have the right guiding. Is that you? I think so. Perfect. Mary Walter needs more than guidance. <laughs> Tossing a coin hasn't settled it, so Mary's turned to something remarkable even by Kleinfeld standards. Asking her mom to wear the dress. I think this is it. Oh God, I hope I made the right decision. It's finally over. Another Kleinfeld's yeah. bride. I like it. I'm glad. <laughs> Why am I crying? Because <laughs> she's happy. Only 9,000 more to go. Bill Schechner, NBC News, that Brooklyn, New York. Just great. Yeah. And that is the easy part of marriage. That's our report on this Friday evening. Tomorrow evening, Mary Alice Williams will be reporting here. And I hope